Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 26 of the Rigor Ridge series. In the last episode we ran out of power for this mechanical water pump. But you can see now we just have installed our first large windmill. And so that's giving a little bit of power to this. And then as the, as the beavers continue to build these windmills that will help pump or help power this which should get some more water into our mega reservoir via the aqueduct that we've constructed over here and then we also looks like we probably need to get these water reels connected to some power which can then tie back into this system and help power the water pumper we also started setting up some dynamite to get an irrigation system over here but I need to actually remove these few levees because I want to have this pour into this area so that way we can capture some of the water and help keep this area irrigated even during the dry seasons. And the beavers can't reach it quite yet but as soon as they build these stairs and the stam then they'll be able to make it all the way over here. In the district of Valley High we are still a little bit short on wood. We'd only have we only have 42 right now, but we do have some more trees that are growing up and we have to cut some of these down. We can also expand our growing location just a little bit. And if we can prioritize this then we'll get some more trees planted up here. It looks like back in this district, in Mountainville, there are a lot of potatoes that are ready to get harvested but we haven't been focusing on them so if we switch that then they should get some more potatoes and it does look like the grilled potato count is going up thanks to having a bot work in here and prioritizing this by haulers so I think that's been making a big difference because we have these two large warehouses carrots and sunflowers which are basically completely filled but the grilled potatoes are slacking just a little bit. We did expand our planting area for our farmhouses in the last episode. We are going to be, we went kind of overboard with potatoes, but I think that we'll, that'll be okay because we're using quite a bit of potatoes in these refineries. So the mixture for potatoes just spits out way more uh, biofuel than carrots do so 2 and 2 gives us 30 biofuel versus 2 carrots and 2 water gives us only 5. Water in Mountainville is going up and that is thanks to these two humongous water pumpers plus the rest of them over here and honestly we could probably consolidate these five into one large one all we would need to do is we could probably just fit it well, we need to do a little bit of rearranging, but I think we can make that happen. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We can also move these couple water storages to right here. So we'll get rid of these. And we'll get a lot of resources back. But if we set all of these to water, and that'll increase our storage just a little bit. And we can fit this one right here. Honestly, having these large water pumps has been awesome. So thank you once again to the commenter who left the suggestion to use this instead of all these little ones. And since we're doing so good on sunflower seeds, because it seems like we are actually pretty full on those, we might switch a little bit of this planting area to start growing some wheat. Because we haven't actually planted any of that yet. So we should probably prioritize these buildings by all the beavers. That way they can get them constructed just a little bit quicker. And also extend the path so they can reach these without having to uh, go one at a time across the top. Although it looks like they can't get enough extract and I bet that might be because of an export threshold from Mountainville. Yeah, so we only have the export threshold set to 
I think we've been going through it a little bit more. So I think we'll probably leave it at 20, but let's go take a look at how much extract we're actually making. Since I thought that we increased the production rate last episode. Because this is now bots. And then we have a second one. Although we have eight unemployed bots, so we're going to put a couple of those workers in here. See what other jobs we can get the bots put into. Biofuel is actually going down a little bit, it looks like. We have... This is this one's not full. This one is doing pretty well. This one's doing good. Oh my gosh, these two are empty. So, the beavers, or the bots, are not actually doing as great as they could be. But we have been increasing the amount of bots. We have like quite a bit since we have some extra bots, extra bots working in bot assemblers and in the bot part factories. But we did reduce the amount of workers in here, so that should be slowing it down just a little bit. Prioritizing these refineries by haulers should increase the amount of biofuel that we got out of it. So we can hopefully rely on that. And this area is still flooding. Not loving it. But we did complete the path along the backside. And I wanted to switch these to be... Where are they? I want them to be the double floodgates. So we're going to just get rid of this. Honestly, this is probably going to flood everything, so might as well just rip the band-aid off. Let's just destroy both of these. So now it's it's going to flood everything. But we can also start building these double floodgates. And then we'll want to do the same over here. Although we could probably just do single floodgates for this since we really just want to have these at the same level as the floodgates over here. Now while we have the water rushing out of here, we might as well actually switch this. So one thing we do need to do is put some platforms at the back. And then we'll get this across here. We will need to get rid of this one carrot, but that'll be okay. And then let's prioritize these, if I can click on it. And also the, oh, they are already getting that. While we're waiting on the extract to get over into this district, we can go ahead and detonate all these. And then we'll get a fluid dump set up. It does look like we have a drought approaching. So we'll just need to make sure that we have enough water in both the districts. So let's check that out real quick. 1.7 thousand in this district. That is A-OK. -okay. And then, nice, we got large water pumper, which we can switch to beavers. We have almost 5,000 in this one. Once again, pretty good. And we should plant some more wheat. Oh, we do need to look at getting... Oh, man. When you have wheat, it opens the door to a lot of buildings that we need to use. So we'll need to get a grist mill set up, and then also a bakery. And we are actually pretty, uh, <laughs> we're pretty much done. Oh, we have one more spot we can fit a building right here. But I don't know. This doesn't need power. This one does, but it's on the side. So let's see. We could move this gear workshop over here. So we'll do that. Your workshop, switch it to bots, and then we'll get rid of this, and then put in our first grist mill. And then we can get a bakery set up. We'll do that. Might as well put it right next to it. Before we get the bakery set up, we're going to actually put the some dynamite here to set up some underground storage. We're going to put a medium warehouse here and here and we will use that to store both bread and wheat flour. And then we just need to get this one last piece of dynamite placed 
And as soon as I finish this one, then we should be ready to get rid of this or blow it up and then we can put the warehouses in and then we can start placing the bakery. And here we go. We can detonate these and then get the storage set up. And I did not need to blow that one up. So we'll have to put some blocks back. And we can unlock the terrain block, which I've been wanting to unlock that and have use for some of the dirt. So, and now we can also have the, the builders construct this instead of needing a terraforming station, which is awesome. And then we can select that for wheat flour and then bread will be right here. And now they're connected with paths. And you know, we actually, oh my gosh, back and forth. Before we actually do this, I think if we just clear out a path right here, so if we do actually end up getting rid of this, we could put a second platform here, fit the bakery on top, and then a second one next to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're putting two of them right here. That is what we're going with. Because we will need to, if we, well, we'll want a second one if we want to make cattail crackers. But we could make maple pastries, depending on how much maple syrup we have. Looks like we have some reserves, and we have some flooding as well. This is 0.5. These are both 0.5. Okay, I think that might just be how the cookie crumbles with this. We did get this set up. We have 1.5 days until the drought begins. This should be enough time. Hold up. Let's lower this just a little bit. We also want to have this set to a double floodgate so we can get that constructed pretty quickly. Look at that. They made these so fast. We'll just have them both We'll do maple pastries and bread right now. These guys don't have any ingredients, but that's okay. We can continue planting wheat. I think we'll need to plant it in more places than just this area as well. So back in Mountainville, it looks like we have all three windmills placed. And these guys are actually, these gravity batteries are maxed on power, which is fantastic. This is pumping water, and I think that at this level it should only drain one down, but I'll probably pause this right before the drought starts. And it looks like we are filling this area up, not super quickly. We are filling it up and then we'll have this start spilling out over here. It will probably take a few wet seasons to fully fill this aqueduct up, but that is not a bad thing, since the beavers are still working to get all this stuff constructed. And then we can detonate these. We do want to prioritize getting these floodgates placed. Because that will give us some extra water storage. We are still doing fantastic on sunflower seeds and carrots. And potatoes, we have, we have so many. Oh, you can see these are actually drying out just a little bit since the water level has dropped a bit. Same with these trees over here. These guys will be prioritizing potatoes. Oh, we also have it. We want to set this to bots because the beavers can get stung by the bees and we don't want that to happen. Plus the bots will work around the clock. And with half a day left in the wet season, we're going to pause this. And that should leave this area safe for the drought. We can also start pausing water pumpers since you can see some beavers are sitting around. And having these big water pumpers also makes it easier to pause everything since it consolidates five jobs into one. And now we have 29 unemployed beavers. We have so many. We have 20 in this district alone. Although they do have more free time since they're unemployed. Looks like wet fur we are somehow once again still a little bit shy on. 
We can get another Agora set up. I think that's the temple. Yeah. For some reason, this has not been popular. Oh, it's because we don't have extract. Is... We do have extract. And I don't know why this isn't... This doesn't have any. Maybe we need to prioritize it by haulers. But the drought has started. Only six days. Nothing crazy. Oh, we gotta sink that back up. Don't want to lose all that water. And we are getting a lot more wood over here. We're up to 350. Plus we have all these trees that are ready to get chopped down. And we do have a lot of unemployed beavers as well. So we can bump the haulers up and then we'll place... Let's do a couple more lumberjack flags over here. And if we prioritize these, and this should help clear out some of these trees over here. And then you can see we're going up in wood. And the beavers are making their way all the way over here to construct all of this. Now, do we have any... Yeah, we do have some builder beavers, or builder bots, in this main district not doing anything. I don't know if it's worth having them help out with this. But I guess if they're not doing anything at all, might as well. The distance that they have to walk to construct everything is quite a bit. Since we have so many grilled potatoes at this point, I think that we are in a good spot where we can start unplanting some of the potatoes up here and then getting some more wheat placed. Because I don't think we will have enough to satisfy anywhere near close to all the beavers and you know we are actually going to set up some showers down here we're gonna do three there and then we're gonna do a couple over here because we still don't have enough water or we don't have enough showers to satisfy the beavers in Mountainville you can see some of these poor beavers it's almost daytime and they're still Walking over here. Where is he going? Oh my goodness. With all the haulers they have everything placed here, they just need to get constructed. So hopefully this guy can go and rest a little bit before he starts his next shift. But that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. In the next episode, we will make it through the drought, and then we will continue to pump water into the mega reservoir. And we'll see how much progress the beavers can make now that we have Mountainville connected right here. And they can start helping to construct everything. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment. I really do appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching.